Gold Roger did not become the Pirate King on his own. He had a pirate crew. Well, in today's video, I will be going over what we know about the members of the Roger Pirates. The Roger Pirates are made up of the Captain, Goldie Roger, the First Mate, Silver Grayley, the Dr. Crockett, Shanks and Buggy, and Cabin Boy, Scopper Gabon, Kazuki Odin, Inuarashi, and Nekamamushi. The first mate of the Roger Pirates is Silver Grayley, and Silver Grayley is known by two names. He is all he is one known as Dark King Silver Grayley, or Dark King Grayley, and he's also known as the Pirate King's right hand, or the right hand of the Pirate King. Silver Grayley also serves as Luffy's mentor in hockey and showed him how to use the three basic types of hockey and suggested the idea of having a two-year training period to prepare him for the new world. The adopter of the Roger Pirates is named Crockett. When the Roger Pirates entered the Grand Line, the Gold Roger was already sick with his illness, so they hired or asked Crockett to come along because Crockett was a doctor. But an interesting fact is that Crockett is the same doctor the Rumbar Pirate left Laboon behind with. The reason Crockett agreed to join the Roger Pirate was because he wanted to help them find the Roger Pirate, or at least attempt to do it on his own while he was at sea with them. However, I also do the fact that there was a reason, like maybe Roger gained Crockett's big respect somehow, much like Luffy had gained the respect of every single person who had joined the crew so far. Crockett played a very important role in the crew as he kept Roger alive and for four years, I believe, until he was able to become the Pirate King. Red-haired Jenks and Buggy the Clown served as cabin boys on the Roger Pirate. We even got to see them on the ship with Rayleigh in Buggy's flashback. However, Rayleigh's design was changed significantly later on because I do not believe Oda had the idea when he wrote the Buggy flashback that they would be members of his crew. But we do see them with Rayleigh reprimanding them in the Buggy flashback when he ate, eats the devil fruit. And we do know that they stayed with the Roger Pirates for a pretty long time. We don't really know much else. Like, we don't know if they were there when they reached Raftel. We really don't. All we do know is that Shanks was giving Roger straw hat during their journey. Because when Roger met Rayleigh, he had the straw hat. But then during the Eddie War with Jinky, Jenks already had the straw hat. So that was not something Roger did when they disbanded. He did that before they disbanded the Roger Pirate. And nothing else is really known about Buggy and Jenks during their time at Roger. Next member I want you to discuss is Gopper Gabon. Not much is known about him in terms of power. In fact, all we have seen of him in terms of power is that during the Buggy flashback, Gabon was shown wielding an axe in his right hand, and he had another weapon in his left hand during a raid on the ship. That is all we know about Gopper Gabon. There is a common fan speculation that he was the Sanji of the crew, that the monster trio of the Roger Pirates were Gold Roger, Silver Grayley, and Gopper Gabon, because Gopper, Silver, Gold. That is just a fan theory. I'm not sure. I, kinda, I do support it, but who knows? I could be wrong. For all we know, the Navigator could have been the second strongest. For all we know, he might have been the Navigator. We don't know anything else about him. We do know he did, uh, he did kind of, like, tease Buggy and Shanks, and he was very playful with them, and he did seem like a very joyful guy. But besides for that, we know nothing. Another member I'd like to talk about is Seagull. Well, I can't really talk about him because we know nothing about him. All we know is that Seagull was a member of the Roger Pirates at the Battle of the Ed War. At the end war, the battle with Jiggy, whatever you want to call it. His current whereabouts in the manga are unknown. As a member of the Roger Pirates, it is assumably that he is very strong, we can assume. But we can assume there is nothing on him. I and myself have always thought he'd been Navigator. I don't know why, but I always have a strange feeling. Seagull is the Navigator. I, I feel like, I don't, I, maybe it's his name, Seagull. The sea, navigation, that's just me being crazy though, I'm probably wrong, <laughs> just to, to be honest, because I'm basing it off of his name, but yeah, we know nothing about this guy. Now let's talk about another member who was Kazuki Odin. Kazuki Odin was the Daimao of Kuri in the Wano country and with Momonosuke's biological father. He was also a member of the Roger Pirates. 
We know almost nothing about him in terms of his relationship with the crew. Odin possessed the ability to read the Potoglyphs and was the last member of his family with the skill to read them. As a Daimao, Od Odin had, the had a large amount of influence and power over the area he ruled before his death. Nami even deduced that given his position, he must have a large amount of wealth. For a period in time, he traveled on Whitebeard's ship, and later with Gold Roger's crew on the Oral Jaskin, the ship of the Roger Pirate. Odin has also been to Rathpel with Roger, meaning the only character that has been 100% confirmed to have been to Rathpel are Gold Roger, Silver Grayley, Odin. Now, I'm going to cover the next two members together. The next two members are Duke Inarashi and Nekamamushi. Both were once the member of the Whitebeard Pirate and the Roger Pirate because they were the vassals of the Dai Mao of Wano Kuni, Odin. And that is all we really know about the Roger Pirates and what they did for the crew. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Remember to tell me your thoughts on what you learned or just the Roger Pirates of the video itself in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Hopefully we can learn something about the Roger Pirates soon in the manga because I'm really sick of waiting.